Hey guys, how are you? My name is Seth. So what is the best first programming language to learn? This is not an easy question to answer because a lot of the languages out there are pretty good. In fact, they're all pretty good depending on what you want to do. That said, number one I would say is probably Python. Not because Python is the best programming language. There's no such thing. Anybody tells you this language is the best, their noobs don't listen to them. There is no best programming language. It's all circumstantial. The reason I would pick Python as the best first programming language to learn, and let me emphasize to learn, is because the code that you write, the Python code, or as nerds would call it, the syntax. Syntax is a nerd term that means the code that you write. Anyway, the code that you write in Python looks like English. There's no funny symbols and stuff like that. So it's kind of approachable. The other reason I would learn Python first as the first programming language is because you don't have to do any major configurations to get up and running with Python. Python, you just download it, install it's free for Windows, for Mac. Uh, On Mac, it's built in. Um, Who knows, maybe the latest version of Windows is built in as well, but it's easy to download, install, Bing, bang, boom, Bob's your uncle. Away you go, you start writing your code. It has a very simple code editor, which is software that allows you to write code more easily, built right in. It isn't the best. I wouldn't be writing commercial code with that code editor that comes with Python, but for learning purposes, it's fantastic. Another cool thing about Python is that it uh, allows you to do a whole bunch of different types of programming. So you can do very visual programming, you can create graphical user interfaces, basically, you know, windows and stuff. Uh, With Python code, you can create games with Python, you can animate and uh, animate with Python. So it's very flexible. Python's strength as a programming language in general is A, it's very approachable, B, it has a huge array of what Python world calls modules. Modules are just basically chunks of of code or libraries of code that you can just go write one line of code that it imports it into your Python and then you can use that to build whatever you want to build. So for example, there are entire game building modules in Python. There are entire drawing modules in Python. So and again, there's even modules in Python where you can order pizza apparently. So it's pretty cool that way. So you can experiment with different types of programming with Python. Some exceptions to that. The one exception is that if you want to get into what is called server-side programming, think web apps, Facebook, Google, you know, whatever, any web app out there. You can do it with Python, but then you have to start jumping through a bunch of hoops to do that, meaning there's a lot more configuration, there's a lot more headaches to set that up. So that dovetails into the second part of this video, and that is, what is the best first server-side programming language? Server-side programming is programming, writing programming code that works on servers. The most common is, of course, web servers. That's for creating web apps. There's many different languages that you can use to create web apps, Python, Java, C Sharp, JavaScript, Perl, PHP, Ruby. Don't use Ruby. That's a joke. My Ruby joke is just an ongoing thing. Ruby's fine as well, although it's not my first choice. If your goal is to get into server-side programming where you're building web apps, then Python is not my first choice. No question about that. My first choice would be dirty old PHP. Now PHP is kind of like the red-headed stepchild of the programming world. It's kind of like the programming world's pornography. Nobody likes to admit they, they use it, but PHP is used all over the place. Um, okay, it's not the best joke, but it's true. If you actually look at the PHP world, what you'll see is that you have a group of very loud anti-PHPers out there, typically people who've never actually written PHP code, and they hate it. But what they hate it for is what PHP was 20 years ago. And then on the other side, you have PHP being used quite a bit. Go out there, check all the statistics. In terms of web apps and websites, 
PHP is king. PHP is so widely used. A big part of it is because of WordPress. WordPress is a super popular CMS, a content management system, and uh, a blogging engine. Well, it's become a full-fledged content management system. Anyway, a lot of websites use WordPress, and WordPress, of course, is built on PHP. Not only is WordPress built with PHP, Drupal, another pretty popular content manage management system, is built with PHP, and there's many, many others. PHP is just so widely used because it's so approachable when it comes to server-side programming that it's, 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 it's by far the most widely used server-side programming language. Anyway, why is that? Well, number one, it's been around for a long time, but so has Python, so has Java, so has C-sharp. But here's the thing. The PHP guys, the creators, they made it really approachable in terms of getting up and running with PHP. With Ruby, with Python, with Java, with C Sharp, there's a lot of configuration you have to do to get your code to run on the web server. It's, it's a bit of a headache, more than a bit of a headache. Whereas with PHP, all you do is upload the PHP page. It's kind of like a web page. You upload your PHP code to the web server, and it just works, and it's that simple. So PHP is just very approachable. So if you wanted to get into the basics of building web apps, my suggestion to you is just to use PHP. Why? Because it's just so approachable. You can get any cheap hosting for like five bucks a month, three bucks a month, and just upload your PHP page, Bob's your uncle, most web servers these days, especially if they're Linux-based servers, which is the vast majority, they all run PHP by default. So it's with no configuration at all needed to be done. That is its power. The way Python is very approachable and easy to use for general pro purpose programming, PHP, on the other hand, is very easy to use and set up for server-side programming. Besides that, there's all these other technical reasons why PHP is actually very good for building commercial apps. I know uh, my own app, Studio Web, at studioweb.com. At studio we were looking at different technologies. I was looking at Node, I was looking at Java, C Sharp.net. It came down to PHP versus Node. I went with PHP for a bunch of reasons, which I will not get into now. But again, and then there's Facebook, PHP, and I know a friend, one of my former mentees, his whole uh, software stack is based on PHP. And they got a huge user base. It works fine. It's not a problem. Anyway, there you go. If you want to learn general programming, Python is my first choice. If you want to get into server-side programming, understand that whole thing because it's a different game. You got to understand the server versus the client, the request response model, how that all works together. That makes a big difference. PHP is my choice there. So there you go. Python and then for server-side, PHP. I hope you found this useful. My name is Steph. Some people call me Uncle Steph, and I have a mentoring bootcamp, very unique. Check it out. Nobody else does it like I do. All right. That's it for today. Bye-bye.